YouTube, my name is Mr. Street Guys199, and this is a new game for me. This is Chroma Squad. Now, if you don't know what Chroma Squad is, a lot of the um, a lot of the Let's Players now at the moment are doing the, the sort of indie games. They're all playing this game currently, and I thought, you know what, I'll get it myself. So I grabbed it myself on a on a sale on Steam. So I picked that pretty cheap, and um, I'm enjoying it. I'm a, I wouldn't say I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. I'm a huge huge Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan um, from when I was a younger. I always followed the guys when I got older and stuff like that. But this is going to be a pretty long video. I've skipped the tutorial because you can watch that on any channel you want. Just search Chroma Squad tutorial and it will show you everything that happens. Basically, the gist of the story at the start is the director is being a dick and the stunt actors decide that they're going to split off and make their own studio and make their own superhero program. That's the general gist of the start, the start of the campaign. And um, obviously, I've skipped the tutorial, so we'll go straight into it. Uh, after after at the beginning of every season, you get a new contract to sign, and it gives you the general gist. So um, you know, record four episodes before uh, the end of the season finale, and then obviously, if you're if you go below zero fans, then you lose. So obviously, I'm going to go into creation mode to create the characters in seconds. So mine in this can be called. Um, uh, just call it the Gods Limited. So Gods Limited LTD. There we go, and we'll confirm that. So these are the character setups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up off off screen, off camera, and then I'll be back to you very shortly, and I'll show you why I've picked them and things like that. So it takes quite a while to do this. So to cut it short, I'm going to be stopping the video here. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, welcome back, and here we go. So these are the guys that I've picked. I've picked Diana Moshone in the, as a lead. She's got 15% counter and 20% HP ratings. So that's pretty decent for a lead character. There's many different ones you can choose. So I, I picked her, but then again, you could pick all sorts of things. You could pick like Gus for 20% attack and team attack is really good. Uh, Evan Tyson, again, is another one. 30% increased attack is really good. And obviously, Doodly, I don't really like the minus 20 health for the main character, but he's still pretty decent to use. You just go through them and find the one that you like. I, I like Michonne. I think her 15% counter and 20% health is really, really useful. Uh, I've picked uh, Mayo Shanae. Um, it's, it's, it's named her Lee here for some reason. Um, let's just change that to Mai. There you go, Mai will do. Uh, there we go, Mai. Done. Uh, again, in this one here, you get a 30% attack increase. She also gets 20% attack increase as a standard stat and 3% crit, which is really good for a assault. Uh, for my um, for my scout, which I've gone for light pink instead of dark pink. Uh, okay, I can make her orange. Actually, let's make her orange. Uh, it gets plus one movement. She gets 20% counter ratings. 30% enemy dodge rating and th minus 30% enemy counter rating. So the, she's very good at going those high dodge, high counter bosses and just punching them in the face. So she's pretty good. Again, I'm going to keep her as wind. Why not? Just keep it there. So for this guy here, I picked uh, Michael Florine. He gets 3% uh, skill regen, minus 15% attack, which sucks. But, you know, that plus 10% dodge chop discount is really good early, mid and late game. So it's a very, very good stat to have. I made him the Green Ranger. As the assist, whenever he gets, a, he gets basically 20% increased skill regen on top of his four skill regen he gets naturally, and heals when using teamwork. So that's pretty decent. So this one here, I chose uh, Wesley Stripes. They called him Simon. Uh, I basically picked him because of the 30% pistol damage. Um, all techies come with pistols to start with pistols, so it's really useful to have that extra damage because he can start by just shooting instead of just man manually punching and stuff. He gains skill regen when using the the gun as well, so. 10% health is very good, and 30% pistol damage is extremely good. So, yeah, I, this is the team that I've picked. So, here we go. I'm good with that. I'm good with the colours as well. I, I like the uh, layout of the colours. So, the game's been saved. And here we go to the start setup. Basically, uh, this is where you start. You've got your shop, your studio, the actors, as it comes up here. Stats for each actor. Um, the basic gist is uh, she can attack between 64 and 77. Normally, just take into account 64 as a base attack. The best way to um, make the, the best way to make the, uh, the the start easier is to have between 70 and 80 attack on the characters themselves. That way, you start being able to one shot some of the early minions. Because sometimes you get those missions where you got to clear it out in four turns and 
it gets a bit nasty when you are uh, going through it. So let's quickly slot through the uh, the skills and abilities that you see. And there we go, and, and I'll explain them while we're actually fighting and stuff. So let's just get onto the mail. Props and etc. Hello, blah, 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 blah. My name is Hermes Barreto. I'm a master of the crafts of crafting props for movies and TV. Some of my wares have special bonuses. Make sure to visit my shop and click the button on the left. Have fun. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so we're going to go into the studio. We've got a $1,000 $1, to spend straight up off the bat. And let's have a look. I'm going to go with uh, this one because it's very good. 10% increased audience gain from director's instructions is really good at the start. Now, I, I, I usually go with this one first, but I find that sometimes crafting isn't always the best way to go. Uh, I would definitely recommend this one because it just gives, it gives you the increased 10% uh, or 20% on discount prices in the shop along with the 10% discount price from the the guy at the bottom there so 250 credits is to go with at the start is always um, a nice thing and I'll show you the shop quickly okay so we have the ability to buy swords and guns and obviously these items here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the video here and I'm gonna come back once I've bought stuff and I'll show you exactly what I've bought and why I bought them and things like that so I'll see you guys in a minute Okay, welcome back YouTube. Just going to show you guys what I've actually equipped with my characters. I've got the paintball gloves and the hiking boots uh, on these two. I've just equipped the gloves on uh, on Wind and the gloves on Michael and Simon, just so that they can get the extra attack in and things like that. So it's not it's all right. So we are going to just carry on. We've got 30 credits left. There's no more money to spend in the shop. Let's just get on with it. So, first episode. The pilot episode for your very own series. Today, God's Limit will deal, will deal with a new threat that appears near a science lab. Maximum audience 2,800. And the location is in a warehouse of Simon's uncle. So the director's instructions. I'll go through that in a minute. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. Season 1, episode 1. Wow, our first episode, that's awesome. What if our first story was about a group of monsters that tried to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them. Yeah, great, but hold on, we should add a narrator. Don't start the action just yet. Once up time, a group of heroes is born. What do you think, Denai? I heard that a good plot starts like that. It's good. But it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once up time? Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of its quirks. We should just we should just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity, and our first task is to is to defend a science lab from an evil monster. Hmm, but aren't the minions kind of late? Where did they go, Wind? I don't know, Deny. They should hurry. What do you say, Michael? They must be getting dressed. Don't worry. Let's just have fun with our new job. Alright, here they come. We will have lots of editing to do later, Simon. Action. Noisy noises. And the mudmen appear. So since I've skipped the tutorial, I'll give you a general gist of how um, how the battle system works. It's it's pretty much like a um, uh, it's pretty much like tactics or uh, like a tactic style, Final Fantasy tactics style or Vanilla Heart style, Vanilla Hearts two style, that sort of thing. It's actually pretty decent how it works. So here we go. Hey you all, get ready for some action. So the director's instructions to perform three aerobatic attacks. Um, and basically keep all all your actors above 50% HP. Okay, so as you can see, you get, you get your squares or your hexes in, in a sense, and you can move around to whatever direction you want. Um, you know, left click, hold left click to move your mouse to move the camera. To change to minions, you know, to, to your controllable characters, you can either click on them or click on their face bars, like so. And basically, uh, that's how you move. To attack, you just basically allow the red squares available. So you can just attack the red square. And that's pretty much it. So the other thing that you can do on here is called Team Aerobatics. Um, or Acrobatics, sorry, not Aerobatics, Acrobatics. And basically the best person to do that is your Assault. She gets a plus two range on increase because she has the heightened strength. 
So what she allows you to do is to throw people all the way to the back of the screen, which is really useful. So I'm going to move her here and go to teamwork, which is the star button on the bottom here. And as you can see, she allows the it allows you to throw people across the screen. So what I want to do here is I want to throw her here, and I want to teamwork up. Stand us together, Chroma Squad. So deny. I'm going to throw her to here. And then we're going to punch this guy in the face. Double attack! Bam! He's dead. And then, obviously, we're going to have Simon, who's going to be chucked over the back here. And there's the uh, the director's 200 audience for the three team, team acrobatics. And then we're going to have Simon go into teamwork mode. And then I'm going to throw... I don't have to throw him, but I will do, just because I can. And then we're going to go for the attack. 120 attack and a bit of duct tape for the, uh, for the pleasure. Oh, nice dodge and a counter. Ooh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. So I don't think... Oh, there was two attacks there. Okay, it's fine. I can, I can deal with that. So we can chromatize here. And it might be worth chromatizing, but it might split these guys up. So it might that, again, might not be worth it. Now, I know you can one-shot these guys. So, oh, unless he dodges, of course. And then that's that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put you here, and I'm going to teamwork. And then I'm going to select you, and I'm going to throw you behind here. And then we are going to double team this guy, which I didn't really need to do, but whatever. It's done now. Um, and you, we're going to put you here. We're going to teamwork. You are going to punch this guy in the face. There we go, 129. Nice counter. She couldn't kill him either. It was a, that was one shot, so... That was her strongest hit, so she can't kill them in one hit, so... Right, we're going to click you. We're going to put you here. We're going to teamwork to heal up a little bit. And then you are going to go behind here. Teamwork. We can just finish this guy off. Good job. And we are going to use you to attack this guy, 120 damage, then we're going to use you to attack this guy, and there we go, and then we got both the both the director's achievements for that part, which is great. After defeating the powerful aliens while the squad was planning to, uh, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. That's an amazing entrance, Transit, Transit Master. This is a great, keep it up. Chroma Squad, why do you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. What are you doing in that lab? It's none of your business. Wow, who was that traffic light guy? And where did he go? Wait, Mai, are you acting or are you really lost right now? Oh, come on, Wind, I'm acting. Go on with the story. Uh, okay, well, I don't know, Mai, and I can't track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Michael, we should go see Cerebro. Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's chambers. By the way, this is Cerebro. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Zord Zordon much, maybe? <laughs> wow, Simon, I didn't expect that you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me neither. The, the, uh, this looks much better than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation, Cerebro. Why do they want that research data so badly, Cerebro? They believe it's the key to unlock... The, the, the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anybody should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see this Cerebro device working. Chroma Squad heads back. The teleport, teleport effect is not ready yet. To the screen. Running. Where are the monsters? I can't wait to use my special pose. 
I'm late. How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough. You are so late, Boxing Box. This won't happen again, I'm sorry. Back to our lines in. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong, my. I am cardboard. Minions, join me! Hup, 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 hup. And the guy comes out of the dressing room. Oh well, the... what do they call that thing? Ready to serve, boss! Watch out! Right, defeat the boss with a finishing move. Defeat all minions before attacking the boss. Okay, so... A finishing move is basically where you line up all three characters, all five characters, around a minion and you attack them. It does like a... like a beam attack, similar to what the Power Rangers used to do with the guns and weapons where they used to join them together. Uh, you know, power axe, power daggers, and power sword, power bow, and all that sort of stuff. And um, that's basically what he does, what the, the finishing move for these these guys are. So, okay, so we want. Can you reach any of these? No. So realistically, you need to be. Oh, it doesn't really matter. I can they can go down low if they need to. Let's put you there. Let's put you in teamwork. And then we'll put you. We'll throw you. We'll put you here. And the teamwork up. And then you can come. There. And double attack on this guy. Ah, oh, you can't reach. But you can. So we'll go and attack this guy here. Get him out of the way. He dodged a double attack. Wow! Son of a bitch, he dodged a double attack. He's only got a 10% dodge chance, what a son of a bitch. Alright, so we can actually chromatize here, so I'm going to go into the middle here. Now this is a, this is a, a, good, um, a good tactic to use. If you need, say for instance, like um, I usually have my all over the place. So, so say for instance, because she throws everybody and they might end up somewhere around here, she ends up here somewhere. You can use Chromatize to basically group up all your team again. Doesn't cost an action. So if you look, they're all over the place. Now they've all teamed up there, but they stay there. So you can actually rearrange your characters around a boss or something, as long as you get someone close by. And because it doesn't cost an action, if you look, Lights, Camera, Chromatize! Right, I can, I can, still, I can still act now. So say for instance, I get the pistol, let's just shoot this guy in the face. 87 damage. Bang. Done. So you can do that. The other thing you've got as well is uh, the lasso, which Denai will have. Denai has the lasso. This is a stunning pose, so she can stun any minions within a six square, uh, within a one square block around her. So if I had like three minions, like here, three minions here, it would stun all of these people around her. It only dazes bosses, so you can't stun a boss, which sucks donkey, but it, it happens, you know what I mean, you're not much you can do about it. So we want to go and kill this guy, he's dead. Next up, we want you, oh, no, 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 I don't want you, I want white. Let's plonk you here, activate Morty shot. And now we should be able to clear the boss, uh, oh! Okay, well I've lost the defeat all minions before attacking the boss because I didn't actually realize that was that because I, I thought that was a, a direct attack, so I didn't actually know. Oh, there you go. Oh, never mind. Oh well, it happens. I thought I would split them all up, but if you look, Lasso will drag this guy to here. So if I, if I um, as you can see, the square blocks basically it will drag it as close to you as possible from where you are. So, say for instance, if I was here and I could lasso this boss, I'd pull it as close to me as possible. And that's pretty much how it works. He just dodged me. I'm too fast. Grr. Super punch. Oh, and he stunned me. Bastard, he stunned me. Okay, so... We can't really do much right now, so let's just go and kill this guy. Ta-da. And let's... Unfortunately, I've lost the, uh, the that one there, which sucks, but oh well. Okay, so now, the way to finish a boss is you wait for the star to come up for finishing, 
So you need to work the boss. You need to work on the boss until that star comes up. You will see it in a second. There we go. See, so it's got to finish it. Now, when that comes up, that that means that your finishing move is strong enough to kill him in one hit. So that's pretty much how that works. Now, if I just give him a dig. Oh, he just counted me. Ooh, that, was, that was pretty nasty. Okay, so you can come here and then get the heal off on these two. Good dodge. Good dodge, me old son. Okay, so now we can go in for the finish it. We're not going to get all the uh, stat bonuses and stuff here, but eh, whatever, I can't be bothered to get them all. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Well, it does. If you want to be 100%, then yeah, you kind of do need to. But you don't absolutely need to, to be honest. Normal circumstances, I actually thought that the um, the gunshot, because it wasn't a direct target, I thought it would still be okay, but obviously not. Um, it was like an AoE move, otherwise, if, if, I, if I'd known it wouldn't, it was going to do that, I wouldn't have done it. So, I'd have just cleared my minions out. What about that Transit Master and Monster? Monsters always come back um, when they fall in their first try. It will show up again soon enough, Wind. And when it comes back, we'll be there to stop it. To be continued. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. Okay, so that's basically the end of the episode. It just shows you the audience gained. Now, your audience gain to money comes up in a moment it will show you in a second uh, this is the materials that have dropped for crafting and things like that so we gained 20 to 22 audience as you can see the money goes down the reason you start in the minus is because you have to pay your wages and your your upgrade costs for your studios and things like that first so you've always always go minus into plus unless you've got spare money to start with then obviously you're fine you get these like little hashtag um, tweets they come up about your different people. If you want to read those, they're on the screen now. Uh, that some of them are actually quite funny. Some of them are very repetitive. So you probably see like these sort of things and this sort of thing quite a lot in the season. And that's pretty much it. Your fans, obviously, the more fans you get, the better off you are. The more money you get, the better off you are as well. So we we'll continue that. Now, well, I'm going to go to the next episode, but I will also do some some possible crafting, some more item upgrades and things like that. Um, outside the episode and I'll show you exactly what I've done when that comes on so thank you very much for watching this is episode one of Chroma Squad have a very good day evening and night from wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time